What's up guys, it's me Jan here once again for another Thursday and uh, yeah, this time we're gonna go through the stage with the Oval Adam R2 and uh, yes, R2 is being the slowest modern rally category in the game it's probably gonna be quite a slow time and uh, yeah, quite a low end car in the game and uh, relatively low end in real life as well in the scheme of uh, rallying categories under the FIA but uh, yeah the Adam R2 has 185 brake horsepower and let's compare it to the current uh, back of the pack car which is 205 GTI and that has 175 bhp so the Adam has a bit more power but it also has a shit ton of more weight it weighs 1030 kilos compared to the GTI which only weighs 875 kilos so there's quite a bit better power to weight ratio on the Peugeot after all both are naturally aspirated and uh, the Adam has a 5 speed gearbox as has the 205 GTI but the Adam has a sequential one and uh, 205 GTI has the regular one but um, yeah I think it's gonna be more of a battle between those two than between the Adam and uh, <laughs> the S1 E2 or even with the Ibiza kit car but um, yeah let's go through the stage with the Adam and see how well it fares through it and here we are at the start of the stage with the Opel Adam R2 and uh, yeah this car was first uh, presented at uh, I think it was Geneva motor show in 2013 but yeah regardless of what motor show it was it was uh, it made its debut in 2013 and uh, it's been used quite uh, successfully across the junior categories as far as I know and uh, these are not that common in Finland I think we have more of Fiestas and 208 on the R2 side of things and even a couple of C2 still but I haven't seen that many Adams here in Finland and uh, from what I've heard, uh, the Adam is quite the top of the line R2 car, so uh, it is quite good and it also is quite expensive. Uh, judging from this side rally cars for sale, uh, there's one uh, from 2017 and it uh, costs 63,500. Uh, euros so uh, yeah if you have that much extra money please buy me a rally car so I can begin my career but um, yeah uh, there's been a couple of uh, successful junior drivers with the Adam R2 most notably Chris Ingram and especially Yari Huttunen and uh, yeah this car is a good uh, sort of a proving ground and a learning ground as well for drivers trying to make their step to the next stage in rallying and uh, at least here in this game it's a really fun car to drive just as when you like adapt to the quick steering and then it's fucking fun as hell and uh, yeah really fun car to drive it's relatively easy as well until you go to the limit then it's difficult as it is with each and every car when you try to get close to the limit it gets surprisingly hard and uh, then you're suddenly wrapped around a virtual tree and that's not fun and uh, here we come to the hairpin being a front wheel driver these hairpins are never spectacular but uh, it's just something that we have to live with and uh, yeah longer hairpin at least in the notes that's a hairpin and then here's another hairpin for the last city section which is just the chicane through the city and uh, yeah braking quite late since it's an uphill you can brake a bit later and it brakes a bit more and uh, final right hander long right hander and then the left hander and we try to manage to not crash in the finish but it's it's gone fine actually and yeah that's the Opel Adam R2 run through the stage and the time is 243.2 and uh, yeah that means that the standings look at the moment like this uh, yeah the Adam R2 slots into the last place which is P6 
at the moment being 1.2 seconds of the pace of the 205 GTI. But uh, I don't think that it will be the dead last car when we are eventually done with all the cars. I mean, there's a couple of slow 60s cars at least to come and uh, another R2. So, uh, but yeah, it's going to be at the bottom end of the standings, that's for sure. But by how much in the end and in what place, we will see in the future. But uh, yeah, that's Adam R2 through this stage and uh, yeah i think that's all for now thanks for watching tune back at least or at latest on sunday uh, i'll be streaming the third round of the slip and slide racing league summer random cup and what car what track we don't know we'll find out on sunday but uh, yeah that's all for now thanks for watching uh, the car setup is in the description linked and uh, yeah thanks for watching bye